Angela here. Today, we're gonna learn a cowboy ballad called Bury Me Not on the Lone Prairie. Here we go. Bury Me Not on the Lone Prairie. Okay, it says we're in the key of, ooh, blank major. Let's take a look at our key signature and we see we have one flat, B flat, right? What key is that? Well, we know that this F major scale has one flat, B flat, so we're in the key of F major. Excellent. We're also gonna take a quick peek down here where it says circle all the notes that will be B flat according to the key signature. Okay, let me get my pencil back out. Let us take a look. All right, I'm just gonna go both lines because it's pretty easy here. Do we see any B flats? So far, no. Let's see, nothing there. Anything? No B flats yet. Do I see any B? Aha! Uh -huh. That's a B flat. Okay, how about up here? Anything down here? No, no. Aha! Uh -huh. I see a B flat. Did I miss one B flat? No. Okay, any B flats here? No, no. Do, 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 do. No. 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 Anything here? No. 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 We're looking for B flats, friends. If you see one that I missed, shout it out in circle. Okay, there's a B flat. Okay, anything here? No, no, no. Aha! Found one. Okay, no. No. No, okay, I did it. That's all the B flats. Next, we have the time signature. It is 4-4, four, four, which we have seen many times, which means we have four beats per measure and the quarter note gets the beat. Now, as I look through our piece, I see lots of triplets right? Look at all those triplets! Yay! Okay, now, the use of the triplets in this song gives us what many people will call a swing feel, okay? It basically, uh, oh, gives us a feeling kind of like a horse is trotting. All right, so I'm going to start with the left hand so we can hear that, that swing feel of the horse. I'm going to go ahead and count it for you too. We'll go slow. We'll just do the first two lines here. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and a three and a four and a one and a two and there for now. I'm going to play it again a little bit faster this time and I'm not going to count and you just listen and see if you can hear that horse trotting along. Here we go. kind of trotting along on that horse, right? I love it. Okay, let's jump on over to the second page here and let's take a look at this here. I'm going to start on my five finger. So one and a two and a one and a three and a four and a and then there's a fermata, right? I'm going to jump down to my five finger on that C and hold it on out artistically, my friends. All right, so the last system I'm gonna jump my hand up from that C, right? So we were on the five finger on the C, and then I'm gonna jump my five finger up to the F. Okay, so I'm playing five, two, one, two, five, two, one, two, and then I'm gonna play five, and then we'll jump our hand down to our two finger on the C. Okay, so that just makes it a little bit easier. So we have Five, two, one, two, five, two, one, two, five, two, one, two, five. All right, that'll make it nice and easy for you. 
let's take a look at our right hand. So notice we're going to start on beat two, okay, like our left hand. I'll start on one. Okay, we've got that triplet, so in your mind you're hearing one and a two, two and a three and a four and a, right? And then for fingerings, I think I'm going to go one, one, two, three, and then I'll play this chord with one, three, and five. Okay, remember, you're going to see what is most comfortable for you, and then you use those fingerings. But I'm going to start with this. One, one, two, three, one, three, five. Okay, I like that. And then rest. Two and a three and a four and a one, two. Okay, so here, I'm going to go ahead and just come down the scale. So five, four, two, one, and then just jump your hand down. No big deal. One, three, five. Okay, and then what do we have here? Rest. Two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four. Okay, you decide what's best for you. I think I'll do one, three, five, and then move my hand. And don't forget the B flat. We even circled it. Okay, rest. Two and a three and a four and a. Okay, good. I'll do five, four, three, two, and then one, two, four. Okay, so once you work it out and you like the fingerings, you can even write them in so that you can remember. But you might just discover that they evolve too. So figure out what works for you. Let's keep going. Then I have, I've actually seen this before, so I'm going to do the same. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, right? Same as here. Okay, and the melody continues to be the same, so I'm going to do one and a two and a three and a four and a jump my hand down. Okay, the next line. This is a little bit different from before, so remember this. I'll do, let's see, one, three, five. So one and a two and a three and a four and a whatever's comfortable for you here and then rest two and a three and a four and a one and a two okay good now there is a fermata right here so basically we're just going to give a little bit of dramatic pause there and then you'll just keep holding that left hand c down here give it a little pause then you'll come in with that right hand and it says a little bit slower. So we're kind of coming to that dramatic finish, right? So you're going to hold that down and then play a little slower. So two and a three and a four and a right? There we go. And we are going to get softer as we get towards the end. Okay. So you can start here. See how it already shows we're doing that diminuendo. So it's going to get a little softer. It's a little bit slower than before. And then you're going to hold this out, go ahead and release here. And the left hand, this horse sound, will kind of take us off into that sunset as we get softer and softer to pianissimo. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to practice your left hand. Then you're going to practice your right hand. And I really encourage you to count this one as you go, okay? We want to feel that triplet feel. So you're going to say one and a two and a three and a four and a... You can even imagine yourself moseying along on that horse, okay? So left hand, right hand. Then you're going to put them together. Then you're going to sing the lyrics while you play. And then you're going to sing the solfege while you play. Good job, everyone.
today we learned a song called Bury Me Not on the Lone Prairie. The song used a key signature of F major, one flat F major, and we used a whole bunch of triplets. It sounded like a horse moseying along. So keep practicing all your songs, sing while you play, and memorize everything. Press DCMA out.